Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Volkswagen Tiguan. If you have a Volkswagen Tiguan, stay with us guys, we'll explain how you can easily install heated seats. If you don't have heated seats out of the factory, we're going to explain step by step how to do it. It's not very complicated guys, we'll explain where we bought our, all our components and all that stuff. They will, they will be very inexpensive, but they function amazingly. We even put them in a Porsche Cayenne, that's how happy we are with those things so let's go ahead and start on it now so guys before we start let us tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we take them completely apart we show you how to do anything from uh, engines transmissions bodywork electrical components fuses why we guys do all that because our mission at the garage is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you and for any of you that need to buy any parts tools for your car at a really good price quick shipping that way do not waste money and time we'll put a link in the description of the video below check it out you can save quite a bit of money so the wires now guys this goes to a positive like car battery wire okay that goes to the positive terminal this is ground okay this is ground anywhere on the car uh, this is a signal wire this is a signal wire from the ignition you need to catch anything where it will be uh, uh, you have uh, uh, power when you turn the ignition on only that way the seats do not stay on all the time and this is for your headlights when you turn the headlights the buttons will be illuminated okay otherwise uh, they will not be illuminated guys so you cannot see them in the dark but that's the kit so let's go ahead and install it now so guys this is the kit of the heated seats that's what you get okay we get four parts in our case uh, you have uh, the switches you have everything else tape uh, the parts are the same for bottom and top they're the same size and we have the things on the side right here okay and that's the uh, switches right here that's the switches and you have the control module here fuse wires now about the wiring harness okay let's explain that thing quick okay what you need to do okay so guys next we'll be installing the switch that's the device right here okay with the uh, with the voltage regulator and all that stuff so we're going to install these switches okay it's a three position switch in our case and we're going to go and install them right here okay about right here so that switch needs to go through the plastic so we need to drill plastic that plastic and we're going to get that drill right here guys okay that's uh, amazing for that stuff so we're going to go ahead okay and place both switches right there so they can be easily accessible so we're going to go ahead start on it now a little bit okay like this one i think this one should stay let's go ahead do that now just slowly Keep doing that, we're good. And you're just cutting the plastic as you can see. Okay, to make sure that it doesn't get too big. Okay, let's just make sure that it should be exactly the same size. Okay, let's inspect now a little bit more. Okay, let's see if we will need to make it a little bit bigger by hand. It needs just a hair more, just a little bit. Let's clear it up if we can a little bit. And I think it will go in. Let's see now. If we remove all the pieces sticking out. Okay, that switch will go perfectly in there. Uh, now, here in order not to spin, we need to cut one. Uh, 90 degree okay horizontal line right here so you can see the switch has a notch that will prevent it from turning and it will be positioned okay it's exactly horizontal so let's see if we can do that now okay that should be good let's see if it's going to go in the wire we need to push i just want to see if it works it should be able to go in so we'll go ahead and do the other hole here too as well 
So we'll just go ahead, drill it, and we'll install the switches. Okay guys, so we get the wire out. Okay, the other switch installed. We're going to push this one in. It goes only one way. Let's go ahead and see if it's going to lock in. I think here we need to drill a little bit on the back because we're hitting on the console. So we need to make sure that on the back we need to drill a little bit more and then we'll continue. So we drilled on the back a little bit more. Okay, we're going to install now the switch. This is for the left side, right? So everything's aligning. Okay, and perfect. Check this thing out. On the inside, we have the wires right here. Everything will be tied up. Okay, so it's out of the way. So guys, we have that Volkswagen Tiguan here now. What you need to do first, you need to remove the seat. For any of you that want to see how to remove the seat, how to disconnect the wires, complete video about that will be on our channel, guys, how to do it. Now, we have everything loose here, so practically what I can do, I can grab that seat, okay, and pull it down, hopefully without scratching all the plastics and things like that. Perfect, it came out just like that, so we can continue with the next step. So guys, we're going to tilt the seat now. Here we need to, uh, what we need to do, okay, uh, this one, we need to open the seats, okay? Usually you're going to have, guys, okay, uh, you're going to have here uh, where they snap together or you can have a zipper, you can have different, different designs. This one has actually, guys, a zipper kind of design that it uses, so we will explain how we can do that. Some of them are snap ones, we will explain on the bottom how you can do that as well. So, this one, the zipper, we need to install a zipper later to close it, but you can see we can just open it, okay, like this one if we need to. So, once we unzipped it, we pull like that, and you can see we'll be able to access underneath everything here now. Uh, don't go on the side where the airbags are, of course, be careful, wires and things like that, but here we can reach to the top, that's where the heating part will be. Stay out of airbag wires, airbag components, don't install anything close to them, now we need to do the bottom. On the TIG one here we have a uh, we have a screw. Now on the driver's side, the back seat will attach exactly like this one here. You don't have a zipper. That's only for the passenger seat. Right there. So now we need to come up, okay, and we we can do the side there as well. It's just like the other one. We need to do it exactly the same way, okay, to get them kind of loose. Okay, they come loose like this one, you can see. Okay, we need to see if we can access all of them that way. Almost. A little bit stuck there. So we're going to get here with the screwdriver, pull that thing out okay it came loose just like this one we will open the other one and we'll continue now just the same way and flip the whole seat up so guys on the tig one here now specifically you have that plastic rail that gets stuck in clips so you can see that clip right there it has clip on this side we're going to release it now we're going to come on this side release that one there as well and it comes loose now this one is even broken out of the, oh no, it's good, it's perfect. We need to do the same thing on this one as well, right there. Let's do that one here too. There is one more on this side. Okay, so we can access things. Okay, it came down and now, uh, give me a second, it has one more, okay, on this side. So this is guys the heating part here, right, for that Volkswagen Tiguan. Now, uh, here guys, okay, what we need to, uh, what we need to do now, we need to, uh, that, that's going to fold. So we need to uh, cut around the clips, but without damaging the heater wire. So how, uh, that way we can install our uh, holder here, so the seat will look nice and tight. So we marked everything, and now we're going to cut it. So we cut the holes, I'm going to go ahead and cut them again because we put that uh, uh, reflective tape around them so to hold things together even better because that will be in the crease so we can actually make the construction a little bit stronger. So we cut uh, holes around the tape as well so we're ready to continue. So we're going to go ahead, push it in, now uh, we're going to align everything here and we need to go through the clips now, okay, so that needs to be folded here. It needs to be folded to where the clips come. Okay, check this thing out. 
perfect just like that so everything can lock in place. We're going to pull the tape okay and we'll do the same thing to the other side and it will be practically ready to be glued and we need to just close everything together in reverse order we took it apart. So we'll get the tape for the back so it cannot uh, move we're going to uh, place it there so it's stuck in place just like that. Next we'll just need to put one in the front okay let's put one tape towards the front too guys okay so uh, it holds everything in place we have the wires here going under the seat Okay, perfect. And one more on this side now. Alright, great, just like that. We're just installing the clips in reverse order. We took it apart, we align, push everything in, watch how everything's locked in place, and that seam there as well. Next step, we just need to go ahead, install everything on the bottom everything that we took apart and then we need to do uh, the back which will be even easier. So the back will be relatively easy guys because we don't have any seams like this one watch we put that one together so it looks amazing now the back we're just going to reach through here position it remove the glue and stick it in there. So we'll push push it in first then we'll remove the glue otherwise you won't be able to do that guys so check it out you gotta make sure that you don't have any creases okay so we're going to position it in the middle there. Let's do that. And all the way to the top, perfect, just like that. So you can see guys, we got it. All we have to do, fold it and pass it to the other side so we can put it underneath. So we just folded it guys. We got it that way, cable is towards the center console. That's where the switch will be. And here we glued it so it doesn't move anywhere. All we have to do is close our seed and practically we're ready with that seed, guys. So guys, what we did, we got a zipper out of clothes, okay, old clothes. Let me show you here one second and we started it and we can just go ahead and pull it this way. So we can, guys, okay, close it. It will be tight, but we'll be able to do it that way, okay. Uh, we're gonna, unfortunately, it's on the inside, so we'll need to grab the thing, okay, and start pulling on the seat and on the zipper at the same time. We'll put maybe a wire on it so we can easily pull it that way. Oh, we can go by and okay like this one but you can see how we started it check this thing out guys we close the whole zipper through the other side okay we just have a little bit left there we can pull it okay we need to get together here and that's the last section practically of the zipper and everything's closed so you saw guys the holes that we drilled we installed the switches right uh, center console is put together here we got the wires, that's for the passenger seat, driver seat there. We're going to get a power source from the rear cigarette lighter. The brown in our case, I always recommend to double check is uh, ground, the other one is positive. It's still going to run through the computer, uh, that uh, voltage regulator and all that stuff for the heated seats. But we'll disconnect the rear cigarette lighter, it's a 15 amp fuse and that system for the heated seats uses 15 amps, so that will be perfect. We will not have the rear cigarette lighter, practically we will have the socket but it will not be plugged in. Uh, but we don't need to use it in the back because usually we have the docks in the back. But that will be one of the easiest designs that we can do, that way we don't need to run the wires to the, f uh, to the front, to the car battery. And uh, the rear cigarette lighter is uh, uh, it's hot only when you have uh, electricity power, only when you turn the ignition switch on. So, all we have to do is install the seats in, uh, plug them in and see how they work. So guys, we need to, uh, you need to make sure that you have the right wires. These are for, in our case, the right seats, the other one are for the left. You can turn the ignition on, turn the switch on, and measure with a voltmeter to see if you have uh, uh, 12 volts, okay, in these wires. If you don't, okay, then you need to switch the wires. This is the seat right here, so we're ready to plug it in. So the seat is going in now. Okay, you gotta be careful not to scratch anything because Okay, those rails can easily, easily scratch things, guys. Make sure it doesn't fall on the cables and it goes in. Perfect, now we're going to connect the wires. Uh, you need to install your airbag wires, all that stuff. <coughs> if you have those, 
on your vehicle and uh, you might need to clear some codes uh, it's always recommended to remove the battery for at least one hour before removing the seats quick reminder for any of you dealing with that always remove the car battery for at least one hour and it's very important to know which battery terminal to disconnect or reconnect first otherwise you can burn modules and computers that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs so we will install the seat and see if it works so what we have left is to plug them in so since it's part of the airbag system guys consider this video for entertaining purposes only if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbags don't work on them they can kill you it's very very dangerous guys so uh, consider this video for entertaining purposes only so guys okay we have everything installed about seats that's what they look like now you can see you cannot even notice you can see the seam and everything looks amazing right everything's tied everything's like it's supposed to be and uh, now they do not work you can see but if I turn the ignition switch on okay let me just get it now turn the ignition switch on or start the car let me just go ahead and start it and now you're going to see right here let me turn the light off the buttons will illuminate when you turn the lights on blue and now you have three two one you can see simply amazing guys those things heat up really good the heat is amazing love them for any of you considering to install on Volkswagen Tiguan it's definitely worth it hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you guys next time